Machine Fitness. This is our Ninja Warrior and Parkour Training Facility here in Buffalo, New York. Uh, we are a functional fitness gym, so we focus on working the body through all different ranges of motion so that you're healthy for life, right? We try to be fit to be useful and to train skills that you can take out uh, into your lives and into the real world and actually apply so that you can have a good time, stay in shape, and be healthy. Um, so what is parkour, what is free running? That is like navigating obstacles that you might see in your environment as efficiently and effectively as possible. Um, you might see a lot of people doing flips and things like that. Those are obviously a little bit more advanced, but we go from the very basics all the way to the top so you can take your discipline as far as you want and really have fun with it. You might, uh, you might have seen me on American Ninja Warrior in 2015 um, on NBC. And you'll see a lot of the obstacles hanging in here, uh, representing Ninja Warrior obstacles and different types of things you might have seen on TV. So we actually train in a league called the National Ninja League, which is a sanctioned league for children and adults to become actual Ninja Warrior athletes. So we do that here, we run camps, we have open gyms, and we have a multitude of classes, including a competition team. So if you guys are interested, in getting into Ninja Warrior or seeing how strong you are, or maybe you just want to swing on some rings for your birthday party, we do all of that stuff here. So you guys can come see us. We're right in the town of Tonawanda in Buffalo. And um, we've gotten to work with many of the coaches and trainers around the city, including your very own Coach Charlie Bennett, who used to run our fit, uh, fit boxing class here. So we do everything from parkour and free running to fitness, and some boxing, and you know, if it's if it's something that's fitness related, you'll probably find it here. Um, personally, <clears throat> I actually was in the Marine Corps for four years, so right out of high school, I decided to serve my country. Physically, I've always been into sports, I've always been very active, so it made a lot of sense for me to be involved with the Marine Corps. And when I got out, I wanted to continue my fitness endeavors and my fitness career. So I became a personal trainer. It's not very difficult. It's something you could do over the weekend or the course of a month and just continue to improve your certifications over time. But it'll allow you, and as it did for me, to work with various people and to just keep that fitness uh, mindset throughout life, right? So we don't ever want to get lost in life and feel like we're getting behind. So if you make it a part of your life or your daily routine as I did, you'll always be fit, you'll always feel good. And when you feel good, you smile, you're happy, people like you, so it really is a great career. If you guys ever have any questions, please come and ask me. Knock on my door, I'm always there to talk. But after the Marine Corps and American Ninja Warrior, I was actually on the Discovery Channel where I did a survival show called American Tarzan. You can find that um, right on Discovery or on Hulu, surviving in the jungle for 18 days. Again, a testament to my fitness and always staying in shape. And most recently, I just competed on NBC Sports Network's World Chase Tag, which is really blowing up. It's super fun, very high-paced, and energetic show. So if you guys want to learn maybe about how to do a backflip, how to do a push press or a bench press, how to throw you know, the hands on, on the bag, or maybe you just want a place to hang out with your friends for your birthday party, Build Machine Fitness is the place for you guys, all right? Again, my name is Jeremy Greeno, and I'm gonna leave you with one little tip. So, if you guys are at home, all you might need for a quick workout, all right? Two paper plates, okay? Two paper, maybe four paper plates if they're thin. They gotta be thick enough to go underneath your feet. But these are gliders, okay? So, I'm gonna put these gliders down out here on the floor. Okay, we're gonna do three exercises, all right? It's as simple as this, it could take you five minutes, okay? So first exercise, you just go to your plank position, okay, just like this, and you're gonna slide the gliders around. Let me help these around so they slide, okay? You can slide the gliders around to start. Then when you get good, you can do your archer push-ups, okay? All right, so these are great exercises for building shoulder strength, okay? So very simple. So you could do one of those three or four exercises. That could be your start. You could get up on your feet, you could put one leg on, okay? And you can work on lunges, which is gonna help with your hips, your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes, okay? Again, you could do lunges here, you could do clock lunges, okay? And then lastly, you could do something that we call 
the atomic crunch, which would be tucking the knees in, or you could do an atomic frog, or even mountain climber. So something as simple as a paper plate, you can get your fitness journey started right at home or anywhere you are. Thanks again, guys. Hopefully we'll see you around. Hey, here we are, virtual PE inside Build Machine Fitness, BAMF. Mr. Bennett here. Mrs. Sheely. Mr. Kowalski. And we are getting back into our boxing unit. We're going to have the opportunity to show you a couple punches that we've learned on the heavy bag. So remember, just real quick, fist, close down hands, close that thumb in so we don't break it, nice solid surface. Guard, we're up here, peekaboo, remember that. And our stance, remember our string, connecting our feet. We're going to start with jump ropes, one minute jump rope. If you don't have a rope, remember, air jump rope. I got this, yeah. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna go over a couple of punches that we already talked about. We had our jab. So we'll break that down. Now we got a bag in front of us. So remember, your jab when you're in your stance, your guard is up, you're stepping into that punch, extending, okay? Rotate that arm over and back. That's our jab. So one and back. Again, I'm going to always reiterate this to you. 
boxing, martial arts, there for you to understand the movement of your body. Okay? I know how I function. I know what strength I'm going to have from each section and each movement that I am. Boxing centers you, martial arts centers you, and gives you that understanding of your body. It'll transition to every sport. If you know how you move in boxing, you're gonna know how you move for basketball. You're gonna understand where you're comfortable, okay? You're gonna understand how to keep balance, keep movement, and it's gonna roll into everything. So remember, this isn't about us fighting, this isn't about us hurting people or getting hurt. This is about you understanding you and your body. How's it going guys? I'm Adam Cole. I'm from Buffalo in New York. Was a competitive gymnast since the age of six. This is my calling, really. My name's Sean Law. I think that most people really play it safe. They kind of say, like, get to the corners. People just kind of go back and forth. You really don't see that many unique routes. There's so many routes that people just don't take that I really think are huge. Like, you can't get caught going in or out of them. I think that's gonna be a huge game changer. Adam and Jorn are just very smart players, especially as chasers. I've been practicing parkour for about 14 years now. There's job. Gosh, amazing athletes. The moment like, you think you're gonna catch him, zips through. He's gonna be a hard guy to catch. I am an original ninja competitor, so parkour is not exactly my main focus. All right, Joe, he's a clown, but I like him. He's the wild card. Jeremy, our captain, one of my idols. The gym we train at is primarily a Ninja Warrior gym. I actually managed to take some of my travel trussing and set it up in a quad format. We've been practicing in a quad for about eight weeks now. We have track athletes, we have a couple veterans, so we, we got a very diverse team. We're just active people, this is what we like to do. Tempest. Athletes, ready! Jeremy Garino. Antidotes. Leader, if you will, but he tracks down Tavon. He's in a, a number of spikes here. They're getting the job done quickly by and large. Yeah, I mean, to see Antidote come in and just grab that little mistake, capitalize on it, get him under the mountain and get him before he goes underneath those bars. 1-0, Tempest. Jeff Garino being chased down now by Brett Vance. Now, this guy came down with COVID back in August. He says his lung capacity still isn't what it was. We'll have to see if that affects his stamina and his ability to move around the court. But he's looking pretty good. But can he close down this cat that Garino has built up as he shuffles under the mountain and back under there? And that's a point for Antidote. Brett Vance unable. It looked like he had him in his sights and it just slipped through his fingers. Can't be touched, can't be stopped, can't be moved, can't be